Hello, I am Bentham and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program where we are on a different planet. We're on Delta Bootis 2. What a name, never gets old. Um, I'm, I've had a good run with um, with system names so far. I, I was really enjoying in the stream series that my planets were called Hecka. Hecka 1 and Hecka 2. Hecka Hot and Hecka Cold. And here we have Delta Bootis. Everything's called Delta Bootis. It's wonderful. What, what more do you want? Um, but here we are on, on a lava planet, and we were in the middle of setting up a little bit of a base. You see, we're not just going to you know land here, plant a flag, and leave. We're going to make a proper mark on this world. We're going to build a like actual factory facility. We're gonna, it's just a little bit of smelting, but you know, big it up a little bit. Why not? Um, but yeah, it's going to be relatively simple. We got a couple miners down. We got some furnaces down. We're going to hook up the ore to be smelted, and then it's going to go into some storages, and then we can come visit this planet to pick this stuff up and take it back home to use it in the factory. It makes sense to smelt it on site because the stack size of the smelted items, in the case of both titanium and silicon, is half of the stack size of the ore. So you can actually get a lot more out of it if you uh, if you make it here and then take it home when you're done. So let's get these all in line. Relatively simple. I'm not going to do much in the way of bells and whistles here. We'll have lines coming out here. They'll go into some big storages. And then we can just come over here and grab however much we need when we need it. That's the idea. Okay, this one is smelting titanium. Copy, paste, 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 paste. This one is smelting silicon. Copy, paste, 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 paste. And then we just need some sorters. I think I brought enough. Um, I brought enough level 2s. I decided, well, we'll just use level 2s for this. Why not? Because I didn't have enough level 1s on me and I didn't want to waste time faffing around making them when I could just use the fancier ones instead. We, of course, will need power for all this. That's the slightly fiddlier part of this whole process. So I brought a bunch of wind turbines and we'll see where that gets us. It's not going to be great, but it'll be something. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, wind power is only 70% on this planet. I could have gone for solar energy, but I was concerned about, uh, you know, day-night cycle. The solar energy is only going to be running half the time. And if the seasons were wacky, then it could be even worse. Um, that said, 50 degree inclination means that you'll be pretty solid in terms of, uh, of solar power. But too late now, we brought wind power. It was cheaper. <laughs> so we'll let the bots finish this off so they're not faffing around flying all over the place. Let's get power poles and all this too. Technically we could use wind power for it, but that would be awkward to set up because they have a smaller range. Uh, can we get that powered? I think we can. Very nice. Now they have different complaints. Instead of no power pole, they just complain of no power in the power pole. It's an improvement. I don't know if one mine is really going to be enough for this, but... At least to keep all the furnaces going. I know it's going to be enough for my personal supply. I don't need a large amount of the stuff being made at this stage of the game. So, I know the overall will be alright. It's not. A, it's might have an overkill in terms of furnaces relative to the mining rate. Okay, um, let's go north for the wind. To where the grid gets more wonky and less useful. And then just set them up in as neat a fashion as we can. It does get a bit weird though because of uh because of the grid. Oh, especially here, because it has to do a sidestep. Oh no. Best laid plans. Alright, that's 10 wind turbines. Each one of these is generating... Uh, 200? Is that, or is that the total? Ah uh, yes, each one is generating 200 kilowatts for a total of 2 megawatts. Um, we're trying to, uh, to use over 3 megawatts though, so the thing can't run at full speed, but close enough. It'll do. This just has to fill some chests with uh, plates so that when I come by, there is some to hand. Yep, that's, a, that's enough gathering, I think, to handle the production rate. These things are currently making them at 18 per minute. 
kind of. Oh, some of these have run out because there's not enough ore coming in, so that it's actually improved things somewhat. Things might kind of fluctuate for a bit as furnaces switch off and on and give more or less power to the miners. The important thing is, we're now making titanium. And also, silicon. Less important, but it's also there. It gets the participation trophy. We can make a bit more space here. Now the thing is, we've got to wait for there to be enough of this stuff. Perhaps we need more wind power. However, I didn't bring anything. I can't make any more stuff now. I'm not able to, uh, to craft any of this because I didn't bring anything but structures. So this is what we got. I mean, I can put more miners down. I don't know if that's really going to help. How's it looking now? Yeah, there's still, like, it's hanging around 60%. It's not really going to change from there, I think. It's come into some kind of balance. We can actually look at the power graph. Uh, well, the power graph's boring. The production graph might be slightly more interesting. It's very steady now. But you can see more titanium ore was being produced earlier, and then it re it dropped because it arrived at the smelters, and now it can't make it as fast, so that it's because the miners are being limited in their speed. Can't really... Oh, you can see a bit of a difference in silicon ore. There was definitely a higher rate there before it, it, it calmed down. Yeah, it's settled into a rhythm now. It's all pretty steady. We're making titanium faster than we're making silicon, which is good. It's the more important one. But I realized that uh, expecting to leave here with, uh, like, full stacks of the stuff was maybe a little bit optimistic. Like, a full inventory. I shouldn't shouldn't have expected that. We're not even going to leave with as much titanium as we already have back home. Actually, no, we've, we've used that up to make uh, to make fuel to get here for the trip to get titanium. I don't know if this was a good idea, guys. <laughs> nah, it, it, it was necessary. Now it's going. Next time we visit, there will, be, there will be plenty more. So we can make do with, like, the little bits that we've got right now. As it turns out, didn't need to empty my inventory, though. Could have, like, made more. Uh, wind turbines and then put some more miners down. Ah, well. If I put down another titanium miner, it will give higher priority to titanium production. Actually, that's a way of doing it. That does actually... It's a, it's a little bit of a finagly way of going about it, but it does actually achieve the goal. What's the production like again? I mean, it's already faster for titanium, but we really don't need much silicon. I'm going to put another miner on it. And the more coverage, the better in this case, because it will then mine faster from the same amount of power, I believe. So, like, that's, uh, that's eight right there. Eight's pretty good. You can sometimes manage a nine, though. Can we, can we swing a nine? There's another eight. Oh, wait, no. Is it? Oh, there's a nine. Nailed it. Right, run that down into there. Is that too much for a belt. Oh, it didn't, now the system's complaining properly about the power issues. That's going to mean that all these furnaces go. And overall, more titanium gets made compared to silicon. Give us a little bit of a boost in the meantime. Like, two stacks of silicon is already good. We've got... That gives us plenty to work with. Titanium, on the other hand, we need tons of the stuff. We gotta do yellow science. That means a continuous consumption of titanium for the purposes of science. Silicon might also be involved? I forget. We haven't actually unlocked it yet. Um, speaking of unlocking, we haven't been doing any science this whole time. I am a fool. What a waste. Um, I mean, we can try and work towards that yellow science. Where is it? There it is, the structure matrix. Um, yeah, it's actually pretty quick. Like, go for that. Go for that. Go for that. It's expensive overall, but we, right now we got a build-up of science packs, so it's going to... Science packs. I'm, I'm thinking in Factorio again. Matrices. Um, we can't actually do it, though, entirely. We need to make diamonds as well, so we should... In fact, we should cancel that. Queue up diamonds first, because can't do anything until we've got those. And then the structure matrix. The final step of the... Wait, no. Is there something else? Oh, that's the high-strength crystal. Yes, okay, so it's made of... That's made of titanium... And 
organic crystals, organic crystals we're making here. This stuff's made of uh, oil and also plastic. You can also make it out of organic components, which is why it can be useful to chop down a lot of trees early on to get you a bit of a kickstart there, but it's not a huge uh, boost as it turns out. Um, what's plastic made of? Entirely renewable products. Graphite is technically renewable, so you can make an infinite supply of organic crystals just using oil and water um, and oil products. Good to know. So the titanium is the only thing we need there. And then, yeah, the diamonds are the other ingredients, so they're pretty simple. They're made of graphite. Again, technically renewable, though also we won't be making enough graphite to make the diamonds, I think. Um, we'll have to supplement it with graphite made from coal, unless we went really nuts with the oil, which, again, we could do. There's nothing stopping us. It, it's a weird... Like, it's... It shouldn't be renewable. It's kind of weird that it is. Oh, that's interesting. This is actually going to shut down, quite possibly. Oh, it already is. That'll help everything else. It'll only make a, as much titanium as is needed, plus the contents of this belt at this moment. That's an alright production rate for a really crappy system that is barely has any kind of proper power supply. Almost up to another stack of this stuff as well. It's alright. Check the graph again. Yeah, so you can see the silicon dropped a fair chunk, but uh, titanium went up a fair bit. Like, it had a very big boost initially, and now it's kind of faded again. Interestingly. Silicon slightly improved again, I think. It's subtle. Yeah, I like that this graph is just a perfect mirror of this graph because consumption of titanium ore exactly mirrors production of titanium ingots. Also, what are these stars? Oh. What does that do? Does that mean it shows somewhere on the screen? I don't see it. Oh, there we go. We can star stuff, and then it appears, and we can, like, select different... Ah, that's cool. Like that. Different categories of items that we can then add or remove from the, uh, from the, the image. That's very neat. Can't do that with anything else, of course, because there's not much else going on that needs you to, like, filter through it. Oh, now we're on the entire system. All production everywhere. Iron ore is probably the main thing, I imagine. Stone pretty close behind. Oh no, graphite! Graphite's the current, like, most produced thing in our factory. Oh, with hydrogen a close second, and then iron. Yeah, there you go. That stuff's uh, actually really important. Kind of sneaks up on you. Right, we got three stacks of this stuff, we got six stacks of this stuff. I say that's enough to be getting on with. Let's head home. We got plenty of fuel. Job done, bish bash bosh, bob your uncle. Let's see where on earth home is at this point. Over there. Uh, closer than before, by a fair chunk. I think it was 1.5 AU before. Now it's uh, 84 AU, or 0.84 AU. And, uh, yeah, no, we're catching up on the orbit. I was correct. I just got confused because we're like, everything's kind of wonky. Let me just check. What's the inclination over here? Ah, uh, 12 degrees. Yeah, there's nothing with a good inclination here. Except, wait, what's our home planet like? Oh yeah, our home planet is only one degree. That's actually really useful. Unfortunately, there's a gas giant in the way of it all the time. I don't know if that counts or not for, like, blocking the sun. But I wouldn't be surprised if it did. It should. It just might not. For reasons. Video game reasons. Yeah, having a, um... A dead level inclination relative to the sun is brilliant. I don't know if it's relative to the sun, though. I think it is. Oh no, I think it's relative to its orbit. So it is on a, on a wonky... It is wonky that way, then, because it's in, like, 30, 13 degrees. Yeah, what you really want is a planet that's, like, dead level with the star. There's a lot you can do with that. Very useful. Right, we're in space right now. I should probably... Yeah, we started orbiting... Uh, Delta Boot is 2 again. I gotta, I gotta get us a bit of speed going. Here we go. Oh, and there's home. Over on that side. See if we can get up to max speed, just for the fun of it. 1,000 meters per second, that's our, our speed limit. We're allowed to exceed that unless gravity makes us exceed it, which is quite funny. If you're flying towards the sun, you can get more speed going, just because uh, the sun's gravity pulls you. If you're flying away from the sun, as I basically am right now, then it, uh, it lowers your speed. Oh, but now the, uh, the gas giant's boosting us. 
Oh, and then it caught us. Uh oh. A oh, bit of bit of disturbance there on our route, but we made it. We're back home. Okay. We got some titanium to work with. Very nice. See how the science is going. Oh wow, the, the whole the whole red tower is going. We're built up on graphite and hydrogen. Very good. This is looking much better now. In fact, we're building back up our stockpile of graphite. So, our fix to the death spiral last episode worked very well. Are we actually meeting power demands, though? No, we're not. We've just fit, we've just prevented a death spiral by overcooking our uh, our graphite production. We still actually have power problems, but we can resolve that. Let's make ourselves some oil-based power. Just got to work out where. There's too many deposits in this area of the planet. I picked a bad spot to start. I now realize that you think you, you want a bunch of nearby deposits at the start so that you don't have to walk for miles to get anything done. But then once you can move faster and you've got things set up already, you want them to be further away so they don't block your uh, block your work. Hmm. Where to put it? Like, there's a lot of water around as well. Like, all this is water. And then and all the bits that are land have deposits on them. This looks like a good spot. Mostly land. Decently far to the north. We should check how the grid lines up over here. When does the grid change? Here it is. So... Probably not there, actually. But instead, at this point. So I like things to be out of the way if they're not, like, involved in main production stuff. We're going to need some concrete. We're also going to need to pick up all of our stuff. What's the button? There it is. Control on an empty spot. And that's the same as Factorio. Probably is, because I wouldn't... I don't usually have that intuitive a knowledge of these things. Even in Factorio, half the time. Oh, there's some gears in here. Why? When did I throw those away? Why did I have excess gears, of all things? Alright. Prisms as well. Don't know if we're doing anything with those. We have some organic crystals. You do pick them up as you go when you're uh, when you're breaking trees. As well as the organic stuff that you would use to make the crystals. Okay. Uh, Alright. Concrete. That's what we're here for. It's over there. I know where I'm going. Alright. Let's extend northwards our concrete coverage. Until we hit the uh, the ceiling here. And then uh, we'll break the ceiling and continue on here. Oh yeah, this is where I was going to do some smelting at one point and then I changed my mind. And now it will be our power. I'll probably actually get rid of the graphite power. Probably not immediately, but like at some point I will phase it out or move it up here. One of the two. We might still want to burn graphite. But will we? It's not renewable. <laughs> this, is, this is the thing. Well, you know what? We're also going to need to make a whole bunch of the generators. Let's do that while we're working this out. At least 20. Straight off the bat. And we're really starting to burn our soil pile here. But we have tons in reserve. Gotta be careful I don't overlap. Because if you if you if your mouse is over something that's affected by the foundation, you can end up having the mouse like jump what tile it, it's referring to, and then you build over. So I kind of work my way up to it, staying on tiles that I that I know are already level. Sometimes I overdo it, and I'm a bit too cautious about it, but better than the other way around. And there we go. We can now make organic crystals uh, ourselves. I mean, I could just do some of that. Like I've got a whole bunch of. Uh, of leaves and wood in here. That's a lot, though. I think what I want to do is set up automatic production if I'm going to be doing that. Because it's a... Uh, th th there's a lot to be working with there. Uh, right. Have we made these yet? We're working on it. Okay. Let's start here. And stay within this section of the grid. Unfortunately, because of the way the grid works, they don't touch here. I think they, they do over here. Let me just check. I don't really pay attention, but like I just kind of didn't think about it before. But yeah, here they perfectly make contact with each other because this is like a very level part of the grid. The squares are particularly square on this part of the grid. And I think they get a little bit wide towards the middle, but I think 
not really. Yeah, they, they, they stay pretty good there. And slowly, they start to compress and get thinner and it gets a bit weird. And then they switch to these very stretched ones. Like, if you can see, they're a little bit dim, but like, the, right there. They are, they're rectangles. By anybody's definition, those are rectangles. And uh, then, of course, they get more, more and more normal. They become normal squares. Then they start to squish a little bit. And then, just as they're getting a bit too squished, they stretch again. And they go back to wide ones. And it seems that like the game prefers wide rectangles over to thin ones. I, I know that technically there's no difference between the two, but you get what I mean. It depends which way you, you look at it. Oh, we need to extend this way further than I thought. So yeah, up here, they'll contact way better. But down here, the, squ the squares are way too wide. And because these things are long structures that fill, what is it, like eight tiles or something? Hard even to say because the stretching messes it up. But uh, because of that, all of the, the distances, all the extra space in, the, uh, in each of the rectangles adds up. And that is the cumulative extra space that you end up with. Uh, when all said and done. So it ends up not connecting in the neat way that it did before, unfortunately. Oh, whoops. The further north we go with these, the more uh, they will fit together. Until eventually they might actually fit together too well. They might start clipping into each other. Yeah, I only actually need one row of uh, concrete to get this done. So we'll just continue this row. And it gets to a point where we're gaining soil pile again. Which is good. I may have overdone it here. We passed the dividing line. Uh, where's, it, where's it gone? Power. There it is. It was literally right there. I just went blind. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, I nailed it. Perfect. Apart from the fact that it goes over the dividing line. It would have been nice if it stopped just short. But... Works for me. Right, now we need a belt, and I think it's going to have to be a level 2 belt to be able to feed all of these. I'm not sure, though. It might be that it's absolutely fine. But, just to be sure. Nice thing about these, of course, is that they generate their own power and connect to each other, so I don't actually have to do any power pole stuff here. I just got to put the sources in. Oh, we run into a stone vein here. Eh, we're short enough that we can still mine that effectively. Nothing to worry about. We do need some more... Level 1 sorties. Make plenty of those. The stack says it's 100, so I could really just queue up tons of these and not worry about it. Then we got to get some oil up here. You know what? The refined oil may actually have built up by now. I spent a bit of time on that planet and took longer to get to that planet than I expected. This may have become a problem. How's the science going? Is it going? It is going. Okay, that means we're not, like, at a critical state at this point. Actually, no, there would never... Hmm. Even if the refined oil builds up, we'll still be generating small amounts of graphite and hydrogen. But not, but not as much as we could be, so it is a problem. Let's have a look. How is the tank? Uh, not full by the looks of it. Yep, it's still alright. It's actually barely gained anything. Oh, of course. Because we added on twice as much cracking, all the refined oil is actually going to be going through. None of it is actually continuing to the storage anymore. It's exactly the same as it was before. This uh, can't build up. There is an... Oh, no, it is building up. Never mind. It can build up, but only very slowly. If at all. Presumably it, it is, but will take a long time to get anywhere. All right, that's good. Very nice. Hydrogen's building up, of course. That will eventually fill that thing up entirely. Speaking of, we could... Uh, well, we're really Now we should automate the fuel before we mess about crafting any ourselves anymore. We, we're, we're beyond that, that kind of thing. It was already kind of heresy or to, to be handcrafting it before, even for this uh, small purpose. And also, we need some more iron. I mean, I, I, I didn't even need to check. I, you just know. You, you always need more iron, it's just the rule. We should put some of this titanium away, I don't need all of it right now. Same for the silicon. Two stacks of... Oh, two stacks of each is plenty. I don't want to run out of space and end up accidentally annihilating something I'm trying to pick up. 
Right, I, I went over there to go get the oil and I forgot. So, let's go back again. Here's the stuff. And let's run a belt. Mm, there's a lot going on here. I shouldn't be running more things here. Where's a good spot to actually run this? Maybe just like straight... I don't want to get in the way of that copper. Is this a good line? This is a good line except for the power pole. So we'll get rid of the power pole and then it'll be a good line. Is this important? Yes. There we go. Okay, so... I wonder if a level 1 belt will do it. Let's find out. It's a, a good way to test. Raised by 1. That's all we need. Begin your grand journey north. Uh, and can you do the whole thing? Oh, the, the just there you run into trouble. Doing so well. Just, uh, how far can we go before it doesn't let us anymore? There, and then just do... I was going to do sidestep that way, but that doesn't work. Sidestep this way. Back where you were. Why not? And connect up to that, but in a normal fashion, please. And we'll see what this is capable of. And I mean, once that's running, that should be enough power generation to actually just shut that one down entirely. So maybe we do that. Now what I need is stuff that only activates it, like, based... I, I need I need circuit conditions from Factorio. Everyone always says that I don't use them, but I do actually use them for things. And this will be a perfect example of it. I could set it so that the graphite production would only run if power gets below a certain point. I'd hook up an accumulator, and if it got, like, below maximum charge, then I would, uh, then I would activate it, but otherwise it would be switched off. But I don't think you can do that, or if you can, it's later down the line. Alright, now currently, nothing's feeding this, so it's just going to go down. So maybe we don't want to rely entirely on this. At least until we've, we've uh, got more oil stuff going. If I head over here, we can watch it go. See how far it gets. If it's the whole thing or not. And everything's a bit wiggly because it's passing through weird belt spaces. Weird, weird grid shifts. Yeah, initially, it's all going to go just to fill up the things. But we're very close. We're very quickly uh, getting towards powering everything again. We were at 60% before, occasionally hitting 70. Now we're at 90, occasionally hitting 100. Oh. And I think we're holding at 100. And only getting better as more of these switch on. Alright, so far so good. How far can it go? Can it go the whole way? I'm sure that like someone has worked out what one belt can handle, and this won't I won't be able to tell based on how this goes because the power isn't running at full speed, so they're not using them at full speed. They they burn the stuff at the rate that is needed to generate the power needed for the factory, so unless the factory's running uh, at a deficit, you can't actually tell what the belt is capable of. You can only calculate it based on looking at the ratios and things. My guess is though. By the looks of it so far, one belt cannot handle it. You have to have a level 2 belt. How much have we got? Not much. We're going to have to make some more. Uh, luckily, we have enough to get going with that. There we go. Didn't have to make any of the turbines, and then we can go pick up some turbines. And make even more of the things. It'd be nice to upgrade all these belts to 2 so that I can pick up this stuff at twice the speed. This is pretty good, though. Already another stack. Let's get a few stacks. Research is going at quite the clip these days. Look at that. That's all right. Pretty happy with that. I do need to get another level of, of labs, though, because I think currently the lab size is what's uh, holding us up, so... It's a waste. Maybe I should do that next. My overall have us going quicker. If I go to upgrades and vertical construction, 
We can do one more currently. Let's queue that up and let's actually cancel these two and then go back into technologies and queue them up once again. Uh, I've just got to remember where they are. Uh, diamonds and structure matrix. A bunch of other stuff in here as well, like thrusters. This one's a fun one, the super magnetic field generator. I think we're actually supposed to make that soon because it's got relatively few reds used to make it. And uh, that comes into play in a lot of the fancier technologies. Not just this thing, but a whole bunch of other stuff as well. You can actually unlock things in this that, like, you can't make. Like, we saw it before because I could unlock the structure matrix before I unlocked uh, uh, diamonds, which they're made of. So, you have to, like, sometimes check that the things you're... you're the, the structures that you're researching are actually able to be made and that you've previously researched the, the materials needed to make them. Um, but, yeah, we'll, we'll stick that in the queue as well because it, it's cheap. Why not? Uh, that one's actually cheap as well, the magnetic particle trap. We don't come into that for a little bit, do we? I don't even know what that's... Have I used that for anything yet? I feel like there's something... Oh, yeah, no, there are some There are some higher tech things up at the top of the tree that use it. It does It does start to matter, so... Yeah, a few things in here that are like that. High-speed assembling. I don't even know why that one's like that. We don't need that particularly quick. That's not one that we need to kickstart this, uh, this stage of the game. Uh, planetary logistics is one that you can go for. Um, this is the thing that everyone wants me to make instead of a main bus. Um, but I'm the worst, you see. <laughs> so I haven't. Right, hopefully it won't be too long before we can unlock the, some more stacks so we can get this going even faster. Because, yep, right now it's all good. Like, do we actually have enough blue cubes right now? Because the, the blue cube... Okay, yeah, we do. But, like, they're, they're being loaded slower, so it might actually become a problem. Okay, currently these things aren't running full speed. Quite. They're, they're close-ish to it. And over here, these things are also not running full speed. But if they were level 1s, I'm pretty sure they would be. Yeah, all the labs are running, so... More labs means more science. Right, we were making belts. And then we ran out of everything. All of the things at once. Time for more gears. I think it may be time to do the next stage of production on the main bus. Uh, no, well, not as in, sorry. The, the next stage of producing the main bus. Because, like, we've got the, the main structure of it in place, but we haven't sorted out this end of it. Currently, there's just kind of a mishmash of belts faffing around and running into each other and moving around each other and getting in each other's way. We haven't got any storage, we haven't got any production of structures, um, and that is a part of the main bus design that, I, that, I'm, uh, that I've been testing on the live stream, so I want to, uh, to implement some of that here to make my life easier. And so I think, uh, I think the time might be upon us to get that going, perhaps before we get on with, uh, with the yellow science, because there's still plenty of red science to, to be done. I'm trying to, like, work towards it with titanium and stuff. We don't actually need it yet. So... I think that's what we'll focus on. Let me just make more belts now that we can. I'm not sure if we actually have enough gears now. Seems like we do. Yep, we're alright. Um, we should also make some more level 1s. We can't make many of those before we run out of gears. Power is looking about where it was before. I imagine it's basically settled in its uh, stable configuration at this point. So let's actually upgrade this thing to level 2. Oh, there we go. We can make crystals. Now we're researching more levels on the labs. It's entirely red science, so it's going to be working overtime. But once it's done, it will be able to work overtime even more. That's not actually a reward, is it? <laughs> oh, in upgrade. I'm holding shift. Upgrade it. Why aren't you upgrading it? Is, is there not enough? There we go. I had to like leave it and enter it. This is a new feature, so there might be some weirdness with it at times. They promised to implement it before the 11th of February, and they did. I've been very, very, um... Uh, you know... I don't know what the word is, actually. Like, I've been very impressed. That's the, I've been very impressed by the devs so far. Um, because they like they've delivered on everything they've said they deliver. They've been working very hard on it. Um, they clearly seem to be uh, 
dedicated to getting this thing done and getting it done fast. Like, the game was more complete than most early access games I've ever seen, and the rate at which uh, work is continuing has been very good to see. And so I don't think it's going to be that long before we see this game done, which is exciting. There we go, all the power is set up now. It is all actually running. Now we are uh, way over our power production uh, demands. Looking very good. We can generate 71 megawatts if we need. We're using 40. So that gives us a lot of room for, uh, for growth. Because currently this is still running. We could shut this off. And I think we'd still be okay even if we did that. But I don't know if I want to do that. Hard to say. The main thing is that, like, currently this is draining. How fast is it draining? Let's have a look. Oh, pretty speedy. Pretty speedy. Okay, that's not going to hang around. We're going to we're gonna run out of that stuff. We may have to supplement the supply with hydrogen to that end. I wish that this graphite wasn't here in the way the whole time. We can get it out of the way. We just, uh, like, break it here. And then you can break it here, and then shift break the whole thing, which is cool. Then connect the same thing again, but this time it raises earlier. Now we should be able to cut this out and put a splitter in here. Or not. Oh, is it colliding with the... Oh, it's probably colliding with the fluid thing, actually. Oh, no. What am I... I'm in the wrong place entirely. This thing. Still colliding? Is that belt not allowed to go over the top of it like that? If so, that's annoying. Yeah, it's totally the belt, isn't it? If I put a splitter on top of this, then it could run through that, and that would work. Um, I don't want to mess about with the levels. It's a nice level right now. I don't want to like have it go up and then down again and make a mess. So I guess we'll do this instead. Um, that's the button. Specifically that button. That. Mm. That works. I kind of... There's, there's things I don't like about it, but it works. And I've spent too long with the uh, hydrogen disconnected from the science. Everything's going to be getting ruined. So, connect this back up. No, go down and connect in. No, okay, we'll just do it. We'll do it one by one then, shall we? There we go. Now, out of here, you can connect up to the side of. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Try that again. You can connect to the side of this. R. No. Raise. Still no. Okay, we'll do it one by one again. There it is. No, it isn't. There it is. Priority... I, should, I shouldn't do priority, actually. I should just let that do, do what it does. So, yeah. If ever the um, refined oil runs out, then the hydrogen will fill the line. And so we'll still get uh, fluid-based power of some kind. Um, it's not ideal, but it works. We could actually even do that again. Have it supplemented with crude oil, but that's a terrible idea because crude oil is a waste. Well, I mean, it's it's all infinite, but like crude oil, burning crude oil is a waste when you could be burning the refined products. Um, they they're just they generate way more power. Um, it's less so with cracking. Cracking still makes a bit of a difference, but the but like initial refining makes a huge difference, and so you definitely want to to refine and not just throw crude oil in uh, into the thing. Oh, look at that! You can see like. An image of myself in the oil, I feel like that's not how anything works. Because it's not a reflection. It's a it's a distortion. That's not... That's not what physics is. That's not how light works. It's like that... It's like the, the stealth material that's a screen, except it's in the wrong place. And doing the opposite of what it's meant to be doing. Very strange. Anyway, we're, we're done for today. We did the things. We have much better power now. We made a facility back on uh, Delta Bootus 2. And, uh, yeah, it's looking good. Next episode, there was a thing. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to work on 
this area here and get a proper main bus end going that uh, will help you to see what I'm going for and see that there's more utility than perhaps you initially thought from this design. I know that there are still the advantages of logistics bots. I don't care, this is more fun. I like belts. What can I say? I'm a belt guy. I see belts and bots and I build the belts and don't build the bots. That's what, that's what I do. Um, also, one last thing. Just so that future Bentham is happy that I've already done it, I'm going to make six labs. I should actually just make them six at a time. There we go. To put on top of the labs once that research is done, because it shouldn't take too long. Um, but there we go. That's all we have time for today, so I should say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time.